we've got light winds it's nearly starting up but we're going to take it down and put the five blade prop on it because that will start up at a lot lower wind speed but at the moment the wind is really you can feel it in your face probably around that 10 mile an hour mark bit of a gust now it's switching Just hope that we can get a bit more low wind output. We're going to try and work off the uh, container roof. Take out that nose cone pin and then it'll uh, reveal the uh, nut that holds the uh, flange on. Good old rubber mallet. And I greased the shaft as well when I put that on so it wasn't too bad. Now to put the five prop on. So that's gone on. We're just going to grease the shaft to make it easy if we want to take it off again. And then we've got the nose cone to fit over the top and away to go. The only snag so far is the nose cone bolt is about 20 mil too long. So it, it, when it's wound in all the way, it's still sticking out. So we're going to have to pack it out to get it to work. So another thing we're going to do, on top of the container, we're going to go to the far end of this container, which is about 30 foot long. And then this is where it's going to be. So we, we're just seeing a little bit of daylight over the top of that barn and the side of those trees, but the, those, that tree height is our problem. We need to be about up there, so we're probably going to have to extend the tower by about four meters. We'll try it with this five blade prop in this position and see how we get on. So it's been packed out with a few washers so it's not ideal but it's okay. Just approaching start up because it's doing all that uh, twisting around. wind sent it sideways and it needs to come back into the wind then start to rotate. Well, that's about an 8 to 10 mile an hour wind so it's definitely got a, a lower speed start up. We're just going to have a look how much it's generating but it won't be a great deal but at least it's better to trickle it than do nothing at all. So we've hooked up to the Batteries in a 24 volt way. We're generating a very modest amount, but we are generating so we could theoretically trickle charge all night with a gentle wind. It, it's probably 10 mile an hour or less. And we're charging at 24 volts. Which means it's going to be a lot easier for the wind turbine to push into the battery or part of the battery at 24 volts. But it means the batteries won't be balanced. <laughs> 